Good morning and welcome to Satoshi's Bitcoin Chart Show. This is the Bitcoin forecast, the strength of the system, the health of the network, where we find out what's up with what is going down. Today's date is Saturday, the 25th of June, 2022. Without further ado, let's just jump straight into it. Buy BSV.live, the best place to buy Bitcoin SV online, the original protocol and genuine Bitcoin. Right, let's do this. Here we go. So we've got CoreCoin BTC, 21,355. Again, the reason I call it CoreCoin BTC is because on the 24th of August 20, 2017, Blockstream implemented SegWitch, which segregated the digital signatures from the transaction data, meaning you can't legally prove who sent you the transaction, which means it's economically worthless, which means it can't economically sustain the network, which means the entire thing will collapse and go to zero. So that $21,000 price tag is a speculative price, but when knowledge catches up with speculation, the speculative price will soon match its fundamental value at zero. There is no other way, unfortunately. Don't say I didn't try to warn you. Then we've got Bcrash, again, deleting transaction data, so you can't use it as money. There's no legal recourse. Fish price cash, an utter joke. But then we've got Bitcoin, BSV, the original protocol, goes right back to the Genesis block. It hasn't changed, making it the real Bitcoin, the true Bitcoin, the genuine Bitcoin, and the world's first and only ever digital commodity, backed by the value of data sovereignty, making it the most valuable commodity on earth because it's an extension of our own personal freedoms and liberties. Yes, indeed. So let's have a look at these figures then. Price, $64. Just amazing. Uh, hash rate, uh, 0.23. So again, I found a chart that represents the hash rate. Check this out. So this is uh, Masari. So here we actually have a chart of the hash rate. Look at that. So we've had these spikes in the hash rate uh, previously as we uh, as we as we have gone through time. But look at this. This here is actual growth. This is growth in the hash rate. It's not a spike. I mean, this this is significant. And the only reason you would get a spike in hash rate is if it was more profitable to mine the chain. And it becomes more profitable due to the amount of data being uploaded um, along with the transactions. So the, the miners get paid for processing transactions. And that's what makes it profitable, which is why they're putting more hash on the network. I mean, this is, it's huge. It's huge. And just to show you uh, quickly another one. So this is, again, uh, Bitcoin. So this is uh, market cap dominance versus uh, the price. So you can see the, the price obviously you know, has gone down, but this was the, the market cap dominance. So what's interesting here is that the actual cap, in terms of uh, market capitalization of the coin itself, even though the price has been going down and, you know, it's sort of like leveled off a little bit here at the bottom, but look at the actual dominance has shot up. So this means that other coins, these shit coins, are crashing a lot faster, a lot faster than BSV. BSV is actually making its way up the coin market cap charts. And you can see it here. It's quite clear, which is a fantastic chart to look at. So yeah, there we go. Uh, network nodes, uh, 5.1. So for anybody who uh, doesn't know what a network node looks like, let me show you. These are mining farms. These are nodes. These create blocks. They process transaction data. That is what a node does. So it's nodes that supply the hash rate. So, uh, for example, this area here, this this would this one mining farm here, they would have they would be a node, a node on the network. But all the machines that they have there are what provide the hash rate. You know, it's um, yeah, that's uh, this is the uh, the world's first ever commercial internet, uh, the backbone to the new global financial system. Uh, it's it's phenomenal. But yeah. Uh, mining farms are nodes that supply the hash rates. Um, so again, uh, transactions, it's transactions that upload the uh, data. And we've got the data here. So we've got 74% of the transactions on the entire market. I mean, these these other security offerings are ghost chains and a block size, which is uploaded by the transactions. We've got 98% of the block size. It's just absolutely huge. And remember, when it comes to Bitcoin and blockchain, hash rate is vanity. Block size is sanity. No block size, no hash rate required. It's as simple as that. Let's have a look at the uh, blocks coming through on this column today. Let's see, we've got 206 megabytes. Yeah, 165, very good. Look, comparison to uh, CoreCoin, that only have got like 
a 1.8 megabyte. I mean, seriously, 1.8 megabytes compared to 206. I mean, this, and sometimes you know, gigabytes. There's just no comparison. B crash, not even a single block over a megabyte. Ridiculous. And Fisher Price Cast struggling to get all their blocks over a kilobyte, let alone a megabyte. <laughs> hash rates. Uh, hash rate follows price, follows value, follows utility, follows creativity, initiative, and intelligence. If you are intelligent and you apply creativity and initiative, you can make something useful. When something is useful, it can then create value. When it creates value, it can then develop a price. When it develops a price, it can then be measured against the cost of other goods and services and used as a medium of exchange. Here we go. Proof of work by network, it's all coming over to Bitcoin. It's currently 6,712 times cheaper to transact on Bitcoin than CoreCoin, and it's 2% more profitable to mine on SV. And But I mean, look at the, the profitability is much of a muchness, but that's where it needs to be to uh, to make sure we don't get any shitcoin miners who are just simply dollar worshipping, uh, mining the chain. But when they realize the mistake they've made, the mistake is going to be sudden and big and fast. Yes, indeed. Daily average Bitcoin block size by network. I mean, look at this. Bitcoin absolutely smashing it. It is undeniable. Transactions by network, Bitcoin winning. Transactions per block, Bitcoin winning. Uh, this is a transaction fees on the way down. Transaction fee Satoshi is on the way down. That's good. But this is block fee to block reward ratio. We want that going up because we need it to surpass the block reward over time. So, yeah, just looking very good. They're very healthy at the moment. Daily accumulated Bitcoin blockchain growth by network. What were we were 4.35 yesterday? Uh, last last night even. Where are we now? Let's see how big this thing is. 4.36. <laughs> still gone up. You know, um, my goodness, still gone up uh, six gigabytes just overnight. Crazy, crazy. You're looking really good. Here we go. Global hash rate seven days. Global hash rate 24 hours. Core coin hash rate 99 percent of it on there. B crash, honestly, what a joke. What a joke. Uh, other miners keeping the profitability in check there. Uh, Fisher Price Cash, just a joke, another one. <laughs> uh, but this is Bitcoin. So looking very competitive there. So remember, Tal here is the base because we know that they are on maximum capacity hash rate. Their hash rate is effectively locked and fit. Well, it can still if they expand the mining operation, but they are 100%. That is 100% capacity of Tau, uh, whereas this is nowhere near 100% capacity from SBY Crypto or other miners. So um, that's where we can see where the other hash rate is coming from. Uh, but the reason we don't want any of these uh, you know, dirty shit coiners uh, mining the genuine Bitcoin is because uh, that just simply leads on to price manipulation, uh, which we will look at now in the short positions. Here we go. So this is uh, uh, Bitcoin BSV. Look at that short ratio. It's got so it's 88.3% short ratio. Just complete price manipulation. Trader, dirty trader is going to get absolutely wrecked. Uh, core coin. So again, it's only got a 2.07% uh, short ratio. But look at the price tanking, tanking. Let's look at transaction volume. So 21.9% of the overall uh, crypto market. Um, on Bitcoin BSV, the only, the world's only ever digital commodity, first one, and that's still only digital commodity. Fantastic. Uh, Chainlytics block size registering 150 megabytes on average, absolutely smashing, smashing the uh, second contender out of the park. Uh, just absolutely phenomenal. Coin carbon cap again. They don't want to report the figures here because some it doesn't make sense to them because it goes against the narrative that uh, uh, proof of work is inefficient. It is not. It is one of the most efficient systems on the planet. Uh, scaling test network. So last uh, biggest block in the last 24 hours, 3.7 gigabytes. All the figures are saying good. Um, BSV data protocols run protocol producing 191,000. Uh, 326 transactions over 24 hours. That's huge. We'll compare that to crypto fights. Should be similar. Uh, daily Meta ID daily data size going down in 4.17, but there's data coming from somewhere. Let's have a look at these applications then. So a uh, run protocol actually doing more transactions than crypto fights itself. Uh, crypto fights still going up 172,000 um, transactions over 24 hours. 
uh, was Run Protocol was doing 190,000 transactions in 24 hours. I mean, it's uh, phenomenal stuff. Phenomenal stuff. Trends.cash. Look, so this is apps ranking by money spent. So DXS and TDXPIP. Remember, dirty traders can be unsullied on TDXPIP because you're not actually dumping the asset. It is a derivatives exchange. Uh, apps ranking by performed actions. Run and crypto fights. Absolutely macking it. That's good. Crypto quant, look, exchange is cashing out. Why did the price go up? Tether was printing, but now it's not printing anymore because, you know, the law enforcement all over it. Whew, it's not going to look good for CoreCoin BTC at all. Um, what is on chain? So hash rate has gone up 610 petahashes uh, per second. That's up from uh, is it 570 around that the other day. The 610, that's good. That's good. Let's have a look at the whale wallet. Yeah, just a movement uh, five days ago. Morning run. So again, purchases don't seem to be registering here, but the price is uh, 5,895 purchases over 24 hours. I'm sure it's more than that. Uh, live coin watch. So uh, we'll look at this. Uh, volume, only 2.5%. That means people are not, they are not trading it. They are holding for dear life, saving it. Wow, phenomenal. Uh, and little prices on the web. Look at this. So we've got 3 million um, uh, bids versus 2.3 million asks. Um, number going up, people. Let's have a look at the coins here. Uh, BTC trade volume. Let's have a look at this. Uh, only 3.4%. Wow. And let's have a look at where Bitcoin is on the charts. 45. <laughs> what a joke. All these other protocols are absolutely economically worthless. They're all security offerings. The market is going to find that find out that way the hardest. And look at that. We've got a market cap of nearly a uh, nearly a trillion dollars. Good grief. And of that trillion dollars, only 1.2 billion is genuine value. Oof. It's going to hurt a lot of people. A lot of people are going to get absolutely wrecked. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to do my best to save them. All uh, right, how are we feeling about it today, Coin Gecko? Feeling good, 76%. Uh, tether, uh, where this is probably similar to what we looked at yesterday. Uh, price of Tether in the green. Mm. One year today. Oh. So it's still lost its peg really compared to a year ago, uh, a year ago but uh, in the acceptable price ranges. Market cap. Oh, it's still another sell. Oh, no, yeah. here we go. Uh, yeah, it looks like another sell off. Another sell off. So we had a sell off of Tether um, from 66 billion. Oh, it's only um, 0.1 billion. So um, 100 million. Yeah, it's still on its way down, though. It's not exactly looking positive. Good grief. Uh, Bittrex, yeah, yeah, price trending sideways, but still all these green candles heading northwards like a magnet, trying to uh, trying to pull the price up. Tries, the price is trying to break out. And let's have a look at um, a Bitcoin versus Core Coin. Look at this uh, since uh, May 31st. Look at that. Look at that climb. Amazing. Uh, Core Coin versus USD. Again, Tether trying to uh, Tether trying to stem the flow. Uh, in the price, but it's there's not there's not a lot they can do really because it does nothing. If something is useless, it's worthless. It's as simple as that. Uh, Coinbase uh, down eighty one percent. Micro strategy down sixty three percent. Silverfish oh one thousand one hundred and forty four views. That's all right. Great stuff. There we go. We'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the show as ever. Be aware. Take care. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next one.